All right, before we get this video started, guys, it's a good one. Make sure you watch it. I mean, I like to think they're all good. I wouldn't waste my time making them if they weren't going to be good, right? So you guys blew the comments out of the water on the last video, which was, of course, this uh, big money unboxing video. And let's go ahead and get it rolling. We'll copy the video URL. Again, remember, if, you, if we get over 100 commenters on each video, then we do a little giveaway. So paste the URL in there. We'll filter duplicate users. 159 commenters. I should start getting more boxes of money shipped to me, guys. Uh, zip, 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 zip. It is Summer Lashir. She is absolutely gorgeous. You definitely should keep her unless you'd like to donate her to our little breeding project. Wink, wink. Miguel and AEP are so awesome to send her to you. I agree. Beautiful vlog today. Thank you, Summer. I kind of want to go and pick out my own comment too, but there's a lot of them, guys. There's a lot of comments. <sighs> I'm just gonna see the first one that I really like. <laughs> Actually, uh, Dylan Smith loved the Pink Floyd man. Great timing and song choices, and it's really awesome and amazing. You have family that's so supportive and helpful. Go Cuscos! <laughs> Let's watch the video, guys. friends and family. It is the butt crack of dawn, as I like to call it, and we're headed out to see Mr. Brian Gundy. Uh, I call it the butt crack of dawn. Hillary likes to call it the colon of dawn because... Yeah, the sun's definitely not up yet. It might not be up for a while. It's, what time is it here? It's about five in the morning, I'd say. I need to get to Brian's, which is gonna take about three hours, and he's doing an educational event today. So we gotta hit the road. We got places to be, people to see. If you haven't already, make sure you touch that like button in all its special little places and make it feel at home. Question is, oh, can geez. I get some? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> that is the question. Can I get some likes? Thanks, that would be swell. All right, let's do this, guys. One thing I really don't like about leaving first thing in the morning is I always feel like I'm forgetting something and usually that feeling is pretty good. I do try to have everything ready to go the night before, but sometimes, you know, in the morning you just get up and I, I showered and just going and I don't know if I got everything or not, but it's just gonna have to be what it is. So there's a couple reasons why I'm going down there to see Brian. We filmed an episode of Triple B TV before I left for Hawaii. And that was actually some of the only footage that I was missing from when my gear got stolen. I hadn't uploaded that footage onto my cards yet, so I still have the uh, the footage of the interview. I just didn't have the B-roll of the snakes. So I'm going to re retake B-roll of the snakes. I figured if I'm going all the way up there, I might as well check out one of his educational shows because something you may or may not know about Brian is that not only does he have an awesome name that's spelled correctly. Not only is he a very accomplished herper, as you may have seen in the other video we went and caught rubber boas, uh, he is a full-time reptile educator. That is his full-time job. He sometimes has multiple shows in a day, and he's really good at it from what I understand. So this is gonna be my first time getting to see him in action as an educator. So, looking forward to it. safely made it to Brian's. He's behind me with all his educational animals. It's nice you can get it all. This is everything, right? Nice. That's awesome. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I think that's a first. <laughs> I ever got butt called by a guy sitting like standing that. right next to you. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> well, I haven't found any more uh, rubber boas since you and I went out. None? Oh, wait. Yes, I did. I found another one the other day. Place up by, uh, you know, up in the Santa Cruz Mountains, walking along a railroad track. All right, we are on the way to the show. We don't know that I'm allowed to be there yet. We're just going to kind of... <laughs> I think it might be, it could be a preschool that we're going to. I think so, yeah. Um, I don't, we don't know that I can come in and film or not, but we're going to do the old uh, ask for forgiveness and not permission. <laughs> It'll work. It'll work. Tegu in tow, we got the albino berm in tow, and some kids that are going to be very, the very posse. happy. The posse. The well. posse. Ashley Hartle, I heard that you, uh, you, you're a big fan of Mr. Gundy here, so I, I wanted to let him say hi to you. Hi, Ashley. How are you, sweetie? There, there you go, sis. Um. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what's interesting? I, Brian told me that he likes you better than, than he does Garrett. I don't know. It's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's going inside the school right now to kind of find out what the scene is. Yeah, we're going to do the respectful thing and ask first before filming. Uh, if for some reason we're not able to film and we can't see him in action, then we'll at least go back to his place and check out some of his cool animals. So, worst case scenario, we'll still see cool animals. Good news guys, that truck's not going to be backing up forever. So eventually I'll be able to talk without beeping. <laughs> 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 See, told you it was going to stop. No, the, the good news is we are going to be allowed to film. Uh, they said as long as we're not showing any kids' faces, then it won't be a problem. So, congratulations, we get to come inside. Thanks, Brian. You got it, bud. And that's really my goal, you know, is to really take that fear factor out of the whole experience with these guys. Yeah. And that's, if I do my job right, then that's what happens. Just to be clear, I offered to help Brian carry this stuff, but he won't, he, he won't let me. Okay. You're so, you know you didn't. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just... see that there's lots and lots of different colors, lots and lots of different varieties. And all of my life I've been into animals of all different types. You actually have a better chance of being struck by lightning twice than you do of being killed by a non-venomous snake. So if I do my job right today, those of you that are feeling a little scared, how many of you guys are a little nervous around snakes? Okay. If I do my job right today, you guys will feel totally different about uh, these animals by the time we're done today. You're doing okay, sweetie? All right, good, good job. You're doing oh, awesome. All right, there you go. So Gabby, what I need you to do is I need you to put this blindfold on. And I want you to promise us all that you will not remove that blindfold no matter what you hear. <laughs> All right, so Gabby, you are a very brave lady. Go ahead and remove your blindfold and meet your new best friends. Oh! <laughs> so cute, though. And you can pet him. He's great. Bingo is what we call an albino Burmese python. He's about 13 feet long. He weighs about 70 pounds. Getting bigger. Yeah, he's getting bigger. And uh, what's kind of fun about him is that he's still growing. Eventually he'll get to about 13, maybe 15, 17 feet and probably weigh up to about 100 pounds. Oh, wow. All right, ladies, thank you so much. You did fantastic.
just be gentle. Always be gentle. So you were able to do all that and not have the kids' faces in there? Huh? Well, anyway, there's a face that I'll, that I'll just cut Edit that clip. Yeah, or sure. in the worst case scenario, I'll just I'll blur faces. I don't think I'll have to blur faces, but mm -hmm. worst case scenario, I will blur faces. Right. But for the most part, I'll be able to just cut. You know, I had plenty of shots with just the animals and hands and, oh, good. or backs of heads, you know, yeah. so. Yeah, sure. That was a very successful show. Those kids have a blab sure as you can hear in the video, those kids were having a blast. Oh, yeah. Um, it's a very important thing Brian does here. You can imagine how many, I just think back to how many people I've heard say that they got their start in snakes from a guy that came to their classroom with some animals and that was that was it for them. And so, and Brian does this like on a regular basis. This is like what you say, what you do about 300 shows a year? Yeah, about yeah. 300. So he's, he's got a huge outreach, very important. And uh, I'd say that one of those ladies definitely had the hots for Brian. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a rock star, you know. Oh, listen to you. Now it's time for some lunch. <laughs> Something about playing with snakes, I guess, uh, makes me hungry for sushi. Yeah, I saw some of your prints there. Beautiful. Oh, thanks. Okay, first of all, this is this is Otoro, which is tuna belly and is fantastic. Second of all, that green stuff on top is fresh wasabi. I've never actually had the privilege of having real fresh wasabi on my sushi, so I gotta I gotta thank this young woman right here <laughs> oh, yeah. for bringing me to a place so to do <laughs> that has fresh wasabi. This is say you can't eat this thing with one in one bite. I think you can. Uh, we'll see what happens. Let's see what you got going here. <laughs> it's like it's big. It's it's it's, it's got. It's, but it's not that big, Brian. You can do. Kind of big. I got faith. It's awkward. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> the tail, the tail sticking out makes it too wide. Huh? Whoa! Good job. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> the jewelry. The jewelry. I gotta answer it. It's what? The jewelry. Oh, yes, of course. Hello. Let's see, like the biggest bite. I couldn't even fit it all in my mouth. Hey, Michael. I just wanted to say hi, bud. All right, Cuzzo, that's a personalized special hello from Mr. Gundy to you. He misses you. <laughs> yeah. We need to do another. I loved your vlog with your cousin here. It was great. You guys did a great, great. We got to, great we got to do another BB Cuzzo. We'll call it something special. I don't know what we'll call it. We'll, we'll do it. We'll <laughs> figure out the name when we do it. Triple B plus B. <laughs> <laughs> so we just finished filming the B-roll for the episode of Triple B TV that just came out on Monday for the third time. We had the first take, that footage got stolen with the bag. Had a second take, wasn't entirely happy with the lighting because that I'd forget, forgotten to bring. So we did the third take, third time's the charm, hopefully. <laughs> You've driven a thousand miles to do all this stuff? <laughs> I would drive crazy. a thousand more just to hang out with this uh, guy, that's the thing. You're crazy, but. <laughs> <laughs> That was hands down the longest driving time lapse I have done to date. That must have been about, that was about three hours time lapsed. Even my little tiny gas station stopped there, huh? But <laughs> I'm back home already. I guess we should go upstairs and see what those boys are all about. And Hillary and the baby too.
No. Oh no. Play-Doh. Oh, what about Play-Doh? That you need salt to make it. Salt? And flour and food coloring. Uh, careful, that's yeah. how you know. So this is how Hillary eats a taco. <laughs> she takes oh. a perfectly good taco, no. crunches it. it into a million pieces <laughs> and makes it into taco salad. This was like a beautiful work of art taco. <laughs> and it, now look at it. It's just like crunched up. <laughs> but I only have one hand, so it makes it easier. <laughs> Here, watch. <clears throat> Let me demonstrate how you eat a taco with one hand. Ready? Ready? Yeah, we're not a fish like a large mouth bass. You don't like, have a what fish? What are you doing? I don't, <laughs> I don't have a mouth like a large mouth bass. Fish. <laughs> what part? The bottom part. It's not the little spice. Just keep eating. It's not spicy. Okay. How about just a tiny bit of spice? What? Just one bit of spice. Do you want a little more cheese? Nah. Eat. And that's how Noah eats. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> oh, you actually took a bite. Wow. How about of the turkey bud? So, we've got Bird Boy. <laughs> eats everything in his path. <laughs> we've got the Destroyer. <laughs> and Big Mouth. <laughs> All right, it's getting crazy. I think it's time to say bye-bye. See you guys on, what day is it today? Saturday. See you guys on Friday, I hope. <laughs>